Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed members of the European Parliament, dedicated advocates for freedom and human rights, and dear President-elect Mrs. Mariam Rajavi. My name is Sepi de Orafa. I am a 28-year-old political scientist from the Netherlands and the proud president of the Iranian Dutch Youth Association. I was born into a world far removed from the turmoil and tragedies that befell my family in Iran. My uncle, just 18 years old at the time of his arrest, fell victim to the regime's brutal 1988 massacre. My aunt and her husband faced a fate no less cruel, executed at gunpoint within the sanctity of their own home, leaving behind two children, one of whom, burdened with a handicap, was robbed of the nurturing love of her parents. These stories are not mere footnotes in my family's history. They are stark reminders of a reality that afflicts millions of families across Iran. As I navigated through life in the free and open society of the Netherlands, a question often lingered in my mind. Why was I granted this freedom, while countless women and girls back in Iran are denied their most fundamental rights? Rights to speak, to dress, to love, and to live as they choose. Basic human liberties that were taken from them under the guise of law and order. In the face of such injustices, silence is not an option. The Dutch-Iranian community, in collaboration with the PMOI, transforms our collective historical grievances into a potent force for advocacy of human rights. Together, we engage with members of parliament, mobilize the younger generation, and stand against policies that are designed to maintain the economic lifelines that bolster the Iranian regime at the expense of its citizens. Amongst the beacons of hope in our struggle is the 10-point plan proposed by Ms. Mariam Rajavi, the president-elect. Her vision for Iran's future, a future grounded in democracy, gender equality, and a separation of religion and state, resonates with the core values we hold dear in the European Union. Ladies and gentlemen, freedom is not merely our right. It's our privilege and our responsibility. When we stand idly by, we diminish its value. In this esteemed gathering, I urge the European community to look beyond the, the diplomatic facades and trade interests. Let us collectively amplify our support for the Iranian people, for the women leading the charge for change, and for the youth who dare to dream of a free Iran. Together, let's not only envision a future where human rights are upheld in Iran, but actively contribute to its realization. Thank you for, your, for lending your ears, your hearts, and your support to this noble cause.